Hello friends, how are you? This is Junaid Khan and in today's video I am going to talk about the CPA coding part 2. Okay, so this is the part 2. I have uh, just uploaded yesterday the part 1 of the CPA uh, which was happened on the 12th, uh, 12th of January Feb, I don't know. But yeah, so this is the part 2 and this happened on CPA 5th January. Okay, this uh, on this day I also gave the CPA and I got uh, 40k incentives. Okay, so in CPA you get 20k, either 20k or 40k. But in IPA you can get 60k okay so i didn't give ipa i gave cpa so i'm getting 40k as an incentive in my three pay roles okay three monthly three pay roles so let's just get started and see what will happen uh, what was the question in cpa so this is a coding problem too as i have said that this is a part two so this is a coding problem too what's the question is that uh, first we have to create a class player so what do we have to do we have to create a class player with the following attributes what are the attributes we are this class is going to contain so as i have told you in the previous part if you haven't uh, saw the previous part please saw that that there i have uh, told you that in the class part we have to uh, uh, make the first function which is of init method okay so what was the function first method will be init method in which we will generally pass these parameters okay so uh, first parameter is player name which is of string type and the second pair uh, second uh, attribute is string player country which is also another is string type and the third attribute is player age and the fourth attribute is number of matches number of runs and number of wickets okay so these are the six attributes in the first class we have to make and further we will see how sh uh, how should we uh, get minimum runs and get maximum wickets so just let's get uh, get ahead and then after this class player is made with the initialize method then we will go ahead and create a constructor so first one uh, first one was the class player so first one is player class okay okay this is the player class first one and the second one is define another class team with the following so uh, what is the second class second class is team okay so for, for first class is player okay and second class is team okay so what's the member functions of these this class is okay let's see get minimum runs okay so first definition uh, first we will define get minimum runs and second is get maximum wicket as the name is suggesting we will see which take list of player objects so what will it take the parameter will be list of player objects as input parameter this is the first parameter and returns the player details so what this function will return this function will return the player details who scored minimum runs so uh, suppose a is the player who uh, scored say zero run so this will return the player name zero okay assume that no player has the same number of runs scored so uh, what we are assuming that all the runs of the player are discrete okay so we can segregate all the numbers there are no same uh, same run scored by uh, two players okay so uh, this is the first and the second is get maximum wickets so what's the get maximum wickets which will which takes list of player objects so this uh, also take the parameter as player object as input parameter and returns the player okay the, this return the player who took the maximum wicket so this return the player name and this one return the player details okay all the details of the player get returns the player details and the get maximum wickets is the returns player who took the maximum maximum wickets assume that similarly in this assume also that no player has the same number of wickets okay suppose uh, there are two uh, bowler a and b and there there is no common in suppose this take two wicket so this must be take one or three but not two okay i hope you understand let's get ahead so th this are uh, th these were the two classes Okay, sorry these were these were the two classes which I, we have to create after that we will take the uh, write the main function okay i have wrote the main function you will require to write the main section completely okay so you have to write the main section completely hence please follow the below instruction for the same so what is the what are the instruction for the same you would require to write the main program sorry uh, main main program which is in line to the sample input description section 
mentioned below and to read the data in the same sequence so what you would require to write the main program which is in line same input description so it will take the same input description as the input and to read the data in the same sequence and we have to uh, make the flow of the data in the same sequence create the respective objects these are the objects will be create first will the first player class and the another one is the team so what will be the first player and the second is team with the given sequence of arguments to fulfill the edit method this is the fulfill the initialize method as mentioned in requirement so as we have as i have said previously class player with below attribute these are these are the attributes which we have to make in the init method as mentioned requirement defining respective classes referring to the below instruction these are uh, this is the below instruction create a list of players to create the list so first will the player list we will create a player list okay player list First, read the number of players. How many numbers are there in the players? You want to store in the player list. Suppose we want to store two, so we will create the take the input as uh, n is equals to two. Okay. Read the values for the players. The this point repeats for the number of players to be added to the list. See what uh, this point will represent. Read the values for the players. Read. Uh, we have to read the values for the player. Now we have created how many players we want. Now we will read one by one for those uh, these players. These players. For these players, we will uh, read the values. This point repeats for number of players to be added. Suppose this uh, we have taken two, so will this loop will be uh, repeated by two times. Okay, so suppose n times this loop should be repeated if n is the value. So consider the input taken in point one above. Create a team object. So we have to create a team object. Call the function get minimum runs. We have to call the get minimum runs and get maximum wickets. We have to call these functions. Respectively, by passing the player list, so we will pass the, here this player list. We will pass in maximum wickets, also in get minimum runs. Okay, we will pass this here. Created in uh, C point one. This is C point one here. Okay, as argument display the result. So we have to display the result. You can use the refer the below the given sample input and output for more details of the format for input and output. So this is uh, this is here the input and output sample input description. First line it represent the integer value which represent the number of player objects. So first line will represent number of player objects. So here is the number of players. Suppose n. Okay. Next six line of input represent one player specific data is below. This is a player name, country name. So this is uh, name. Or uh, this is country as it is saying. Sorry, sorry for bad writing, guys. Country. This is age. Okay. After that, match number of matches, number of runs, number of wickets. So this is number of matches, number of runs, number of wickets. This is wickets. This is run, and this is matches. Okay. The point B repeats for the number of object mentioned in point A. So the, suppose uh, we here take five as an in, an input. So this is the first time it uh, run. Okay, this is first time. After that, it is second time. Sorry, this is second time. And after this, this is third time. Here till here, this is third time. After this, this is fourth time. And this is fifth time. So we we will take input as n and repeat the following loop and take take these values as an input. Okay, this point is saying say, saying same. And what's the output? Output is uh, name of the player, details of the player, which is minimum run, and the player details who get the maximum wickets. So this is the player detail who uh, take minimum uh, run. And this is a detail who take maximum wickets. So what are get minimum runs and get maximum wickets? We have to show the details of those players. So minimum runs is here, minimum runs whom, and this is the maximum wicket who take maximum wicket, and this is the minimum runs. Okay, so guys, I hope you uh, understood the question. Let's get ahead for the uh, solution part. How to write the code? So here's the code. So first we have to create the class player. Okay, let me change the color of the pen. Click class player. 
and define init method so we will i have told you that we have to initialize the method in the class player which first parameter should be self as i have told you in previous video that first parameter of the defined function definition of a function we we, have, we create should be the self self should be the first parameter after that number of play, uh, player name and then player country and then player age and then number of matches that, that player has played and the number of run he has made or she has made and the number of wicket he or she has taken okay so these are the player details we have to create now how should we store these values which we have taken as an input as a parameter of this function and should uh, uh, should store in this player class so for this we have to create a uh, use the self i have told you previously also self dot then parameter name suppose a is the parameter name so we will use this self dot a and we will store this okay so how should we do so self dot a and a is the parameter name so this value should will be stored in this self dot a from uh, parameter so here a is the age so this age will be stored in self dot player age this is how we create the player class and after that we have to uh, get create the class team uh, what is this self dot l self dot pl this is the list of the player list okay i will uh, tell you this list about in the uh, main function where i have created it so self dot pl equals to l define so we will get uh, define the get minimum runs self we will define minimum runs this is the list we have created this is the uh, empty list for i in self dot pl though uh, this will run a number of player times r dot append number of runs that player has made so r dot uh, this list will this function what this function do r dot append r dot append uh, uh, sorry r dot append appends the uh, data of the, uh, which we have taken i dot number of runs time in this list then we will uh, find the minimum number of runs he uh, any player made so for the function minimum we use the minimum function yeah python is so simple that we use a uh, function which uh, it makes the, our source code so compact by using simple like words we use just minimum and this will return the minimum from that list suppose one two three are there so from this list it will return one as the minimum number of runs he any player has made result this is also another empty list for i in self dot pl if i dot number of runs equals to equals to minimum one this minimum one we have created if i dot number of runs equals to equals to minimum one result dot append what is this result will append result in the result uh, list append player name and result minimum one minimum one is the number of uh, runs that a player has made and then player country which are what's the output we have to show player name number of runs minimum he has made and which are from that country that player belongs to so we will just return this with this help of this so that will this will store in the result uh, list okay now we will get another uh, function we, which we have to create define get maximum widget self r is the list for i in self dot p pl l which is the pl player list r dot append i dot number of widgets so we will create another empty list r as empty list you can uh, take a b c any name for that list so i have just taken as r as the name of the list for i in self dot pl r dot append i dot number of widgets so it will append the number of widgets in this list okay so let me change the clear so that you uh, will not get confused okay maximum one equals to max r so what is the maximum maximum is the uh, function which will return the maximum of a value suppose one to three as the value so this will return three as the maximum uh, answer so here will store maximum uh, maximum value result is the another empty list for i in dot self dot pl if i dot number of wickets equals to equals to max one if this uh, value number of wicket equals to maximum uh, we uh, i have uh, we got then we will take the data of that player and add in the result list so this will uh, in this in the list first we have add this part and after this we have second this we had add this part and then return the list so let's uh, see what how is then our main function for the main function we have to uh, write this as mandatory if un double underscore name double underscore equals to uh, equals to double core uh, double quotes and double underscore main double uh, double underscore colon double colon count equals to int input what's this it will take input as an integer format integer this is integer so it will take integer input l is the number uh, input l is the list for i in range range is the zero to count this uh, this will run through this part okay i range in equals to count and input this is name 
and C input A age maximum run maximum wicket. Okay, so all these details will be appended in the list. T equals this we have created the object of the team class which we have created here. See this class we have created. So this is the object of team class R1 equals to T dot get minimum runs. So what will this do? This will take return this return result. This return result will be stored here. Okay, in this R1 and this return result this return result will be stored in this r2 okay for i in range length of r1 print r r1 dot r1 i okay this will pre, this will print the r1 details okay r1 details will be printed by this one and r2 details will be printed by this one as we want the answer of, of the above code okay so this is how we uh, we solve our question our programming code this is so simple you might get that uh, this is so tricky and how should we do it just see how I, I how i have created okay this is not a big deal i have just did some previous year questions okay just around three to five questions and because of that i was able to write this part of code okay class player definite method this code this is so simple we don't have to uh, do something math trick and do a lot of work this is just so simple we have to create init method we have to first pass the parameter self this is the mandatory method self we have to pass the first parameter and this and last uh, I, we have to return result we don't have to apply it uh, semicolon or terminator sign as in other language we have to do okay or oh, this is so simple if name equals equals to main this is the mandatory part if we are going to make the main function and then we will take the input from the user as if we want want to input this is the string in, in string input okay this is the string part okay uh, let me write this this is how we take a string as an input okay and this is how we take integer integer as an input so this is so simple we have to just uh, use this uh, technique and we will able to do the question l dot append what this append do suppose we have an empty list and we use l dot append l dot append a p e n d and here we write suppose one and this is the list uh, l okay and this is also list l if we write one so this will return one uh, this will add this list will add one and suppose similarly we write append two so after this this will add two so this is how we use to uh, we append the list append in it in the list and uh, this is how we store the result uh, this is how we call the object of the class so this is so simple and i hope guys you like this video I hope you got to you got to know something about the class and object in the Python and how should we solve in the CPA and IPA. I hope guys you find it useful. Please like it, share it in my channel and share this video and spread in your uh, in your group. Okay, and I have also I will also add the. Uh, telegram group channel where you can add and you can get a use uh, you get used to know what, what we should do in cb and how to solve the question i will be sharing with uh, there and there are so many people like you and you sh you will be able to help each other wh while preparing for the cpa part i hope you guys you find it useful please share it subscribe it and thank you guys for watching this video subscribe my channel thank you guys